accused of plotting to blow up a Brexville bridge learned their fate today. Good evening, I'm Danita Harris. And I'm Lee Jordan. Douglas Wright, known as the ringleader, received the toughest sentence of 11 and a half years. Brandon Baxter was given nearly 10 years in prison, and Connor Stevens was sentenced to more than eight years. News Channel 5's Paul Kiska was in the courtroom during today's sentencing. He joins us live from the newsroom with more. All right, a bunch of potheads manipulated by a paid FBI informant who is trying to stay out of prison or a terrorist group trying to kill innocent people. Depends if you're talking with defense attorneys or federal prosecutors. Either way, three of the men in this bomb plot apologized in federal court today, hoping to avoid decades in prison. Judge David Dowd agreed with federal prosecutors in labeling the group of former Occupy protesters turned bomb plot suspects as terrorists. But prosecutors did not get the sentences they wanted. Instead of 25 to 30 years, Douglas Wright got 11 and a half years. Brandon Baxter, 9, and Connor Stevens, 8. The fathers of Baxter and Stevens blasted the government's case, saying it hinged on a paid criminal informant with open cases and a lot to gain. This man was in to encourage the situation to get the heat off his back. He's in trouble with the law. Well, my God, get him in there to mess up some other people's lives so he can get off the hook. I'm sorry. The only person that should be on trial here is their instigator. He's not an informant. He was an instigator. He brought the idea to him, and he stuck it to him as well. This was entrapment. These boys weren't terrorists. They weren't going to do anything. They repeatedly said, no, I don't want to do this. You know, but the FBI wouldn't stop pushing it. Basically, the gang that couldn't shoot straight. You know, these kids were all easy, easy targets, vulnerable. Uh, they were stoned and drunk most of the time. Defense attorneys said the FBI informant gave the men marijuana, alcohol, money, hatched the plot, and delivered the so-called explosives. Stevens' attorney said the government should be going after real threats to our national security as opposed to taking a bunch of kids and, and for, for months trying to get them to talk about C4 explosives and, the, and, and, and recommending targets. But 83-year-old Judge Dowd said in the end the men were not using illegal fireworks and explosives like M80s, but what they thought were real bombs strong enough to blow up a bridge. Coming up at 6 tonight, reaction from the U.S. Attorney's Office, which was successful in getting guilty pleas and prison time. In the newsroom, Paul Kiska, News Channel 5.